In today's world, everything that you love and are passionate about can be found online. Whether you're into knitting, playing video games, or both, there's a community of others who are probably into it too. And what's even better is that Twitter has presented a way to spread these ideas to a worldwide network, all using a simple tool, the hashtag. However, not all of our ideas are laid back and positive. Hashtag activism is a way of communicating a problem and ways to alleviate that problem with many different types of people. And, as you've probably seen from your favorite creators on YouTube, the most important social media activism comes from the most heartbreaking of stories. Hashtag Say Her Name is a hashtag that began when local and state authorities decided to ignore the case of Sandra Bland, a longtime activist and innocent woman who was taken into custody and mistreated by the hands of the police. The hashtag Say Her Name hashtag was created to raise awareness about Brand Bland's case and gain justice for other women that have been affected by police brutality. In a short period of time, the Say Her Name hashtag has escalated the scale of what could have been a forgotten police case into a highly successful and influential activist movement that has inspired thousands of people to stand up for the rights of these women. Without the influences of online social activism in our daily lives, there may not have been supportive communities like the ones found on YouTube to help us through anything we've been going through. The year of 2015 was a very important one in terms of social activism. Why? Because police brutality was not only something that was happening more frequently, but was also signal boosted to a wider population as well. However, what we're going to look at today is a particular hashtag that sparked the interest of many. Hashtag say her name. As mentioned before, Sandra Brand's story was not only in influential, but essential to the movement that would come. However, Bland's story was not enough for this hashtag to gain the impacts and emotions that it brings on society. When digging into the roots of Bland's story, activists began to realize she was not alone in her suffering. In fact, it was a pattern for black women of all classes and social status to be brutally punished by the police. The issue, however, was that most of these cases were left untouched by the media and ignored by the authorities. That's where hashtag say her name comes in. What say her name hashtag brought and continues to bring to the table is something that can only be reached through social media, inclusion. As Armand R. Towns points out in his scholarly article, Geographies of Pain, the most important aspect of the movement and what caused it to grow was its philosophy of inclusion. Say Her Name reveals that anti-black violence is a component of the lived experience of black people of all genders, sexualities, and classes. As Towns highlights in this quote, hashtag Say Her Name is a movement that provides a voice to many different types of people, something that in-person movements often fail to do. But in-person movements are not to blame. Hashtag Say Her Name and movement like, movements like it use the interesting concept of accessibility to gain much of their successes. Without quick access to resources and support, citizens and activists are often discouraged from even joining a movement. However, the activists beside, behind the hashtag decided to bring social media into the scene as a means to promote their points. Sherry, Sherry Williams agrees that a hashtag is the best way to keep the chronicles of these women in the light of the media as well, as she points out in her submission to a literary journal. The hashtag say her name hashtag kept the stories of the murders of transgender women of color circulating consistently. What William is saying here is certainly interesting. It is perhaps that without the original creation of the Say Her Name hashtag and the passionate activists that provided mass visibility to it, Sandra Blands, as well as the other black women that were murdered in the year of 2015 on, would have never been brought to light. By providing resources and easy access ways to educate the people of the world with the use of social media, the activists that started the movement created a spark, and this spark would be soon to prove to be one that would explode into a movement that would cause many to question the social constructions of, of their daily lives. Whether you choose to believe in it or not, social media activism is a driving force behind what policies and movements are socially relevant to the citizens of the world. We all know that what is popular online is next to us, the people. Without the interest of the people, pressing issues will never gain the attention they need to be noticed on a wide scale. Hashtag Say Her Name is definitely a movement that has caught the attention of the people. The Say Her Name movement shows how social media influence can connect to the pressing issues of today's society. As Nikki Jones points out in her article, The Gender of Police Violence, by connecting and the Say Her Name movement and the socialization of black people, Humans as a whole are pushing these stories to further prove that this violence is important to our daily lives. 
We are acknowledging the similarities in the violence directed at black women and at black men by connecting social concerns reflected in Say Her Name with recent debates over police violence. As Jones mentions, activists are correlating social life with the law and crime, something that has been pushed since the civil rights movement in the 1960s. The hashtag is a new way to promote the inclusion of a variety of groups and to recognize the intersectionalities of these groups in terms of police violence. Sherry Williams, who I spoke about earlier, comments on these intersectionalities and how they relate to social constructionism in America. The dismissal of black women as crime victims is connected to social constructions of black womanhood. Williams correlates the lost stories of black women's crimes with the stereotypes that live around them. When black women are routinely taught that they are, do not have a voice in society, it is less likely for them to speak out when they are discriminated against. Social media extends the conversation by allowing opinions that are outside the norm in. What the hashtag Say Her Name movement brought to the table was a way to fight against these stereotypes to create a new, more positive social viewing of black women and to provide these women with the visibility that they need. When we push the boundaries of what is socially acceptable by using social media and its various forms of outreach, we are able to gain not only a larger audience to our efforts, but a more influential outcome to our movement as well. But what is possibly the most important aspect of any movement is how it affects the world and society in the long term and how the strides of movements like Say Her Name contribute to how people think in the future. And let's be honest here, we're all concerned about our futures. Since Sandra Bland's horrific death in mid-2015, the Say Her Name hashtag and social movement have brought to light the harsh reality of black women's treatment in America. Without the movement, Americans may have never been educated on the deaths of innocent women. Ignorance is something that is very easy to come by, but with a bit of education, anyone can know what real problems are facing the people around the world. But in order to be educated, you need to find an educator. Thanks to the uprising of social justice advocates on social media websites and other various platforms, there are outlets for black women to express their fears and sorrows with the supportive community. With that in mind, it is important to note that the battle is not over yet. Ziba Blay, in an article for the Huffington Post, notes the relevance that the Say Her Name movement still holds even years later. The Say Her Name movement has, cert has certainly shined an important light on the deaths of black women, but systemic issues regarding black women and police brutality remain. Blay points out that one hashtag does not have the power to erase an entire systemic issue. This is not to say that the Say Her Name movement holds any less effectiveness than before, but what this does mean is that the topics of the movement still hold relevance to today's social issues. There have been recent arguments that social media movements tend to die out quickly, but the Say Her Name movement has certainly proven that this is not true. In fact, Say Her Name has actually expanded the conversation past black women. As Blay notes, groups such as transgender and Latina women have also been affected by this brutalization as well, and their visibility is just as important as black women's. The Say Her Name movement has proven that it recognizes these other groups as well. If you look on Twitter or Instagram today and search Say Her Name, you'll see that there are still posts every day with the hashtag, opening up conversations and among people from various minority groups, not just black women. All of these groups have the same thing in common. They are being discriminated against and they want justice. The conversations between people of these groups are not only important, but essential to the breaking of barriers and the end to violence and crime against themselves as a whole. Say Her Name has imposed a successful narrative that few other groups can, can duplicate, and it proves that by continuing to be successful years after its birth, it's safe to say that the success of this movement will cause for the future success of movements that are like it. The Say Her Name hashtag and movement has proved to the people of the world that social media activism is an influential and essential part of social life. The hashtag proved its relevancy at its origins in mid-2015 with the case of Sandra Bland and continues to carry itself in 2017. Additionally, the topic of racial and gendered police violence is extremely important to the future of our modern day society and to how black women are treated by society and by police authorities. In the future, Say Her Name and movements like it will work to pass more legislation and broaden their movements to an even larger scale. With the help of citizens like us around the globe, along with the impressive power of social media outreaches like the ones found on Facebook, Twitter, and even right here on YouTube, they can achieve these goals and much more. By promoting social activism and movements like hashtag say her name, humans as a species are promoting a more accessible way of speaking out and fighting for what they believe in. But what can you do? Well, you can research hashtag say her name on your most 
local social media outlet and educate yourself. In fact, there are other videos just like mine on YouTube that are there to help and educate you. If we continue to push together, the impacts that this movement will bring will be astronomically important.